as I translate, what are some of your habits, your daily disciplines for business, for sales, for what you do professionally? Yeah. So my role now is more of a training and and like recruiting role this these last couple of weeks and month. I'm I'm taking that on more. And then obviously sales is still a part of that. And then sales was, you know, kind of been this whole time of my career. And just I've done a lot of both. But when it comes to like sales and the actual daily disciplines, a lot of it comes down to the software and the CRM. And I think that a lot of people fall short in that because they just check it when they when they can or they check the the, the notifications at a certain time, multiple days out or they have another job and this gets pushed to the side. And there's just a lack there that I feel for reps and for actually leadership, pushing the envelope on teaching them how to manage your system and actually check it daily. So for me, like some of my disciplines, like I check the system every morning. As soon as I get up, it's one of the first things I do, like after I go to the bathroom and it's a funny story. I tell people I sit on the toilet every morning. I know I got about 13 minutes before my right butt cheek goes numb. And that's how much time I have in the system. And then I move on to the next thing. And I put blocks in throughout my my schedule to know when I need to hit the system every day, every yep. day. Now, mine's on a man- management level. So my boxes, my, my blocks are a lot more and they're deeper because some of them are administration work. Some of them are uh, recruiting work or just my social media time because I have to break my social media time. I'm filming all day, but I edit and post all throughout the day whether I'm in roofing, fitness, whatever. And I'm also recruiting at the same time because my platform is like a big recruiting space. A lot of guys want to be like me. So that's like the daily thing is checking the system for sure. And then obviously there's like daily task and weekly task of trying to find those clients, scouting, putting yourself out there on certain days. And that's the part there that is like not dialed in at all in the roofing industry. Because I talk to so many guys and and I, and I have so much experience in this. And I, I try not to sound like cocky because there's a, there's a fine line between cocky and confidence. And I try not to like cross it, but I talk to so many reps, so many people's reps at all these companies all around the country, call me or message me on Instagram to ask me and talk to me about social media, but also to talk to you about roofing. And I get to hear, I hear the pains and I hear the things that go on with all these companies from a from a rep level because they don't see me as the owner of this big business right i'm the i'm the face that comes in and the fitness guy and he's got tattoos and oh he's climbing he's oh he's on tiktok he's definitely not an older guy you know like they they put me in that space so they open up to me like no other and all they talk about is the lack of schedule i don't really know what to do i think we're going out i think we're going out in a couple of days Oh, we might do this. I'm like, what? I was like, my team has been here a week and a half. They have a whole notes itinerary every day. We do shit. And then we go to lunch and then I pay for dinner and then top off on this day. But we're busting doors this many hours every week to grow this market. So I like, I see something like that. I'm like, or I hear that from these reps and I'm like, owners and leaders that are in this industry aren't prioritizing more of a schedule base dialed in. How do I make this guy successful by teaching him to look at his calendar, put these blocks in forcing him to sit down and do this stuff, you know, and then calling him on one of his blocks because you share a calendar. You're like, Hey, I saw your two blocks. You already had your two blocks. What'd you get accomplished? And if he's got good feedback, you already know in the system, was he active or not? Did he, yep. you know what I mean? So you can learn and keep moving and and put these things out there. So like, that's really, really important to me is checking the system, having it ironed out throughout the day. And then as far as like scouting and, and making sure that I'm breaking up the week and putting things like my scouting is different than it used to be. My scouting mm-hmm. and sales is I'm looking for the golf courses. I'm going to find the, the the big hotels, like who has damage, who this all around the the area I'm working. That was my scouting. My new scouting now is other companies and competition to keep myself out of their way, but also growth. Who's hurting? I'm watching all the guys on social media on these pages that are asking for help and their leaders are not helping them. So I'm not going to innocently stand by and not help. So I'm constantly like not trying to be, I'm not trying to be a thief in the, in the industry. You know, I'm here to provide so much information. And if I vibe with one of your people and the information is different then you know, you, you got to step up. Like I'm out here trying to level up everybody, not just the, the, the reps, like owners and leaders got to level up too. So the daily stuff is like very important. And those disciplines for me are, are, are as I listed, you know, and, and one other one I think would just be overall appearance and like personal health, you know, mm. like I rock a polo on days that are 
necessity for it, which is usually every day. And then throughout the day, I wear certain clothes, certain jackets, depending on the vibe of what I'm, what I'm going to do or who I'm going to meet. And I, and I, I think that that needs to be understood too. This isn't a fix all jeans and a polo kind of industry. You go to a hotel. I, when I go scout hotels, I'm, I'm in a jacket. Like I'm in a, t- a yeah. suit. Like I yeah. walk in and you're like, well, this guy's coming to look at our roof or talk us about a roof. You know, I'm not climbing on it today, but I will. But today we're here to talk about business. And I think if you transitioned that a lot more and, and gave these new reps and these leaders more insight to understand, like we need to, we need to look a little better in certain times yeah. and schedule this stuff out and, you know, not, not just be roofers. Like that term of roofers, I don't, I don't really like it. When I hear you're a roofer, I'm like, no, I'm actually like, I'm, I'm a business professional. Like I'm a, right. I'm a professional in the industry of some sort. You know, I don't even like the salesman term sometimes. It just, you know, sometimes yeah. it's a little 